Hey guys, if you're married, you need to have a death binder. It's kind of macabre, and no one really wants to think about it, but you want to make sure that your loved ones are protected. Here's what you should put in it. First up, list of accounts. This can be retirement accounts, investment accounts, uh, savings accounts, or checking uh, anything. It doesn't really matter. It's just so your family can find it if they need it. Next up is your estate planning documents. Living will, powers of attorney, uh, any estate planning documents like that. Uh, it's a good place to have them all in one place so they're easily referenced. Next up, account and device passwords. When my dad passed away, it was so hard to get into his computer. Actually, now, three years later, still haven't done it yet because we have no idea what his password is. So make sure that your family can get into your devices or get into your accounts. Life insurance, if you're gonna have life insurance to protect your family, you wanna make sure that they can get to it and they know that it, that it exists. If you just have a copy of that policy in the binder, they're gonna be well off. Deeds and titles, same thing. During the probate process, you're gonna to need to have copies of each of those so that you can transfer those documents from your name to your family. If they're easy to find, it makes the process easier on them. Then finally, copy of your birth certificates and marriage license. That's always gonna make things simpler. 